Mursaleen, wa salati wa salam ashraf al Mursaleen, Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad al Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, bi madadakum wa nazarakum Sayyidi ya Rasul al-Kareem, ya Habib al-Azim, madad ya Sayyidi ya Sultani al-Alim al-Shaykh Abdul Faiz al-Daghistani, Sadaqa Shaykh Muhammad Nazim Adil Haqqani, Mawlana Shaykh Hisham Kabani, Shaykh Adnan Kabani, Shaykh Muhammad Adil, Ma'am Abdul Khaliq al-Hujdawani, Sahib Zaman Sayyid Muhammad al-Mahdi alayhi salam, Ruhullah Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam. Sayyidullah, Sayyidina Ali Salaam, Tumma Sayyidina Bakr Siddiq, Sayyidina Ummah, Sayyidina Uthman, Imam al-Hasan Ali Salaam, Imam al-Husayn Ali Salaam, Sayyidatina Fatima Tiza Ali Salaam, Wa Sayyidina Wa Sayyidatina Wa Siddiqina Al-Fatiha. Inha Shabbat Ya Rasul Al-Kareem, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Fawzul Illahi Min Shaitan Al-Razeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Ati Allah, Ati Rasul wa ulul amri minkum. And a reminder for myself, an abdiku lajisa da'ifu, miskeen, zalim, jahan. And but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence, alhamdulillah with the new year and the new journey. And last night we described that we should know where we're coming from so that we understand where we're going so that if we write these realities in our book and then we revisit these realities then inshaAllah by next year, by the end of this year when the Hajj comes again, we can look to see what we understood and how we progressed in this way of marifa and the depth in which the love of Sayyidina Muhammad to overtake the heart and become the path towards that reality, that moving towards that light, towards that love, it is the way of Allah Means when we move towards Muhammadun Rasulullah Allah is the hidden treasure that will dress and bless the servant. Alhamdulillah that before anything opens the reality of A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem is the first step towards that door that our whole life is to seek refuge from shaitan with Allah Not the trying to find shaitan and fight him but our life is to seek refuge in Allah from the… As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Cursed one, and that his trickery and his cleverness is been here for a long time. And awliya come and give to us the key for that reality which is the key to everything. They say that if everything going to open by Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem and every reality is in the secret of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, it can't be understood or opened without Auzu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. So that reality is that we have to seek refuge in those whom are already in Allah's refuge. Means that becomes the secret of run to the cave. And the only true refuge of Allah is known as Muhammadun Rasulullah That's why when you look upon this earth now there's no religion except Islam. Whatever people trying to say they are, whatever they're trying to do, no. They have a, a deceit within them, a falsehood within them and every sort of false practice. So we see the, the truth of that reality 
Then Allah says, they have no protection against shaitan, look they, they do every awful wickedness and they put symbols upon themselves thinking they're, they're free and that somebody has bought them, saved them, all sorts of corrupt thinking and, and ideologies. And Allah is then reminding to us that, no, if not for the cave of Muhammadun Rasulullah it would become more apparent. Because in the beginning of the race you wouldn't know and in the middle of the race you may have a hint but at the end it becomes very clear as the world is coming towards its state of death. Because we're trying to understand ourselves and people don't like to look to themselves so look to the outside. Is a collective whole of who we've become. Look men in skirts, everybody in different orientations, every type of sickness and corruption and unimaginable thinking, the trafficking of children and women where they steal them straight out of the street. And then this is the society that says that they're at the apex of humanity. Like, what? What are you talking about? This society are like baboons, this can't be the apex of our humanity, this is the worst of our humanity. So when you look with a heart and you say, these people actually think they're the best. Their technologies have made them superior, they think all that we've achieved we're at the best of our humanity. Actually the, the best of humanity is, is to make everybody to be free and if somebody wants to identify as a cat and put ears on and walk around with a tail it's perfectly fine. But now they're gender confused and animal confused and every type of inhibition, every type of forbidden every type of excess, every type of sickness became okay. And they have faiths and they have beliefs. And Allah gives to us the religion of Allah is Islam and it became clear. Why? Because the key is Muhammadun Rasulullah We don't care what any imam says. We don't care what any man says, any woman says, what they say, it all goes back to what would Prophet do and becomes the key of salvation and safety. Through every falsehood it's like the pillar that holds the nation together. That when they claim whatever they want to claim say, no. It's not the way of Sayyidina Muhammad so no way do we accept it, no way do we want anything to do with it. Means that it becomes the ship of safety on very dark nights that are coming. The ship of illumination through every confusion that moves to the earth because they think they're at the apex. You know what double ignorance is when you don't know that you're ignorant. Those are the scariest people. The one says, I don't really know so I'm coming to you to learn. No problem, alhamdulillah, that's a sign of humility. But the one who says, no we are the, at the apex of our civilization and knowledges <coughs> doesn't recognize they're truly ignorant, they become very dangerous. And they want to impose that ignorance upon everyone. And then we see how Islam shines, Islam says, no that's, that's not true and that what Prophet wants for us to adhere to it as a protection for ourselves. So means all the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad is a protection for the believer, it's not a fashion statement, it protects them, it shields them, washes and cleanses them and grants them the nazar and the holy gaze of the Divinely Presence through Hadith al-Qudsi. Because if you want Allah to look at you, the Hadith al-Qudsi has to give the description of who's really going to look at you. When Allah clarifies, if you want me to look at you then this Hadith al-Qudsi is that I will be the eyes in which He sees. 
the ears in which he hears. All of what we've always described of this holy hadith, it's Allah's way of teaching us that if the face of Prophet ever should catch you, it's me that's seeing you and my Divinely lights flowing through His holy eyes. It's my Divinely hearing that He hears with. If He should take an audience to you to hear you and your supplication and your requests, Allah is giving from Hadith Al-Qudsi, it's my hearing. Don't lose track of that because then you take yourself out of tawheed and oneness. That Hadith Al-Qudsi is teaching us oneness. When La ilaha illallah dresses Muhammadun Rasulullah So we say, no I want Allah to hear me, Allah say, He's going to hear you through this servant who has his hearing. And people try to understand Hadith Al-Qudsi as if it's for them. But in reality this is Allah describing Prophet that He does all the mandatory worshipness. He approaches with all of these forms of love and good character and I am the hearing in which He hears and the eyes in which He sees, the hands in which He feels, the breath in which He breathes, the feet in which He moves, so much so He's Rabbaniyoon and He merely says, Kun fayakun and it will be. There's a reminder as we set off on this month that these descriptions Allah is giving for the reality of Prophet so that our life was to catch that gaze, to do the good deeds and good actions so that Prophet looks to us with a vision of Allah takes our case and hears us because they don't understand this. So why do you ask Prophet when you're not asking Allah? But Allah gave the clarification of the most powerful mic in existence. I'm the hearing of Sayyidina Muhammad And instead of you thinking you're purified and that your prayer is going to go to Divinely Presence regardless of the shaitan inside of you. Awliya come and teach, no why you don't make your connection to Sayyidina Muhammad And that bond with that presence, that love with that presence and that he intercedes for his nations and all who come under the flag of his intercession. And as a result he's hearing with Allah's hearing. When you ask Prophet you have asked Allah If Prophet sees you, Allah has seen you. If Prophet gives a jawab and an answer to you in your du'as and your munajjad, Allah has spoken to you. Means if people of tafakkur they contemplate that what is this hadith and what's the, the magnitude of this hadith? That what Allah is giving of I'm a hidden treasure and you're passing up the biggest sign of that treasure. Oh okay yeah yeah Prophet says, okay, okay yeah I'm, I'm still on my way to Allah And Allah said, you truly haven't found me nor will you ever find me if you pass that reality. So with tafakkur and contemplation they connect, they slow down, they understood. That what we want is here in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad That he will wash us, he will clean us, he will guide us to Allah's Divinely Presence which emanates through that heart and Divinely heart so that we can feel and that's why then when you go to the Naat and the Salawats and all these ishq they become Muhammadiyoon. Because Prophet has dressed them with these lights and as a result because what, what we're teaching of this reality, as a result of being Muhammadiyoon you find Allah in everything. Because with the Muhammadan dress 
than what you hear through Allah's hearing. What is it that you see? You see through Allah's seeing. Because Prophet is dressing from that reality. So means then this first step of the way is to truly understand the reality of A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. If you really want to come against shaitan and you really want to come against these difficulties and you truly want to reach Rahman then keep the company of those whom are protected from this difficulty, whom are already in the presence of Allah which is Nabiyeen and the greatest Nabiyeen is Sayyidina Muhammad This is with our salawat, with our durood, with our tafakkur, with our meditation, with our good deeds, sponsoring and charitable actions and then the khidmat and service bring us to Nabi'een. And as a result of being in the presence of Nabi'een Allah describes then Siddiqeen because they follow Nabi'een. And if the Siddiqeen come into your life then who are coming? Shuhada means the people whom they see with their heart, they have been martyred from this world and they see with open hearts and surrounded by these shuhada or salihin because they produce salihin, the open hearted servants, close hearted servants produce nothing. If what they did didn't open their heart then what they teach is not going to open anyone's heart. And then what Allah describes, Ayatul Kareem, I'm with Nabiin, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin, making four corners and making the reality of a Kaaba. Make your life in the tawaf of these associations because the tawaf and circumvallation is that my whole focus is on this reality and to keep the company of these categories of people. And as a result of keeping their company and keeping their practices then we are in the refuge of Allah from the accursed one because he finds it more and more difficult to come towards those associations that have those lights, those practices and those realities. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us as this month and the holy month of Muharram opening and these are the 10 days of light and intercession in which nations to be saved and dressed and that their hijrah and pilgrimage to the Divinely Presence to be a sacred movement in the Divinely Presence inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.